a homemaker, one who keeps the house, one who manages the home. We are the keepers of the home. And for me, that looks like taking care of my children, getting things ready for the day with getting dressed, making the bed every morning, and just being prepared for whatever the plan of the day may be. And on this particular day, I was doing a front heavy day, so lots of morning tasks were getting done. And as the keeper of the home, that is a rather nice way to function is we can decide how we want our day to go. I enjoy getting a lot of my tests done in the morning. That way I can do some more fun activities in the afternoon after my girls have napped, go out and about, play with them some more. But getting a little bit of cleaning done right away in the morning after breakfast has been done, after I've gotten dressed, made the bed, gotten my girls dressed and ready, it just makes me feel all the more... Um, ready to conquer whatever else the day may bring. And then snack time approaches and feeding the little ones, getting them back down for naps, and taking care of cleaning our little Airbnb cottage that we have started is just another task that I um, will be managing as well. And so I really want to make sure I can keep my home so I can help take care of this other establishment we have. And that doesn't mean that I will lack in taking care of my children. I believe that as a homemaker and a mother, you can bring your children along with you and we don't have to just um, succumb to the whim of what they would like. I think we need to train our children as that seems to be a falling effort in today's society. And so I think bringing your children along when you are doing daily tasks, having them help, I've said this so many times before, just trains them to be better citizens and better, um, better children of the Lord, if that is what you believe. By 10 a.m. in the morning, only half of my coffee was drank, but all the morning and indoor tasks were complete. And it was such a beautiful day that it was time to get the outdoor tasks completed. And I think if you are one who has an acreage or if you live on several acres like we do, if you even have just a small little front yard, you are going to have some maintenance in your yard. And as homemakers, keeper of the home also means keeper of our outdoor space. You want that to be inviting in a place that um, can flourish, especially if you have gardens, if you have flowers, you need to take care of those and make that an inviting space for your family and for people you have over. After each meal, there was always cleanup to do, and that just is a time for my mind to think and contemplate, to pray, to just um, prepare myself for whatever I may have to do the next day, to thank the Lord for the many blessings that I do have in my home and with my family. Treat time is such a special time and we walk to a little ice cream stand that just opened to get a nice little milkshake to bond and share that fun memory together with my girls. Sometimes nap times don't seem to last long enough, but that is where I just will bring my children out with me or bring them next to me with whatever tasks needs to get done. So after being outside for a little bit with my youngest, it was time to organize our winter stuff and put some of it away as the weather is finally changing in South Dakota and getting a little bit warmer. And just completing these small five minute tasks really just is so motivating and encouraging as a mom and homemaker and if that's all you get done today is organizing some of your clothes or decluttering some of your winter things that you have to tuck away then be proud of what you can do for your home As 
I sit on the floor and fold my children's clothes and some of the linens and towels, I just always think how beautiful it is to be able to stay home with our children and to manage the home and to take care of what God has given us. Being keeper of the home, I like to provide nourishing snacks for my girls. And these banana cookies are a must and a go-to. They're just so simple and something that you can whip up while your kids are eating a snack or while they're playing an activity together. As a mom and homemaker, I like to provide nourishing food, like I said, which means eggs. We go through a lot of eggs and we have friends who raise farm eggs, which is a beautiful thing right now. And so we went out to their farm to get some eggs from them and see some baby lambs. But it is such a blessing as right now where I live, there is an avian flu. So eggs are almost non-existent or they cost five dollars a dozen and so having farm fresh eggs um, that are raised naturally is just such a blessing in a way I know I can provide for my family in a nourishing way. Getting the tasks done for the evening of feeding my sourdough so it is ready for the day tomorrow and then going to be enjoying a nice tea is a way as a mom and homemaker to also care for myself because if I can't care for myself then how am I going to care for those I love and have in my home. So I hope you feel encouraged today and that you have a blessed and wonderful day.